place called Connecticut. I'm at Sleeping Giant State Park. A beautiful day here in Connecticut, Saturday, June 7th, 2014, and they are having a celebration here. Tell us a little bit about this celebration, Dan. We're celebrating the 90th anniversary of the Sleeping Giant Park Association, which was formed in order to help protect the park from the quarrying operations that were destroying the head. Uh, now the Park Association did that in 1924, and now we've been able to keep this park as a landmark state park here in Connecticut, which people can enjoy constantly without threat of their head being destroyed. Wonderful. So how could they get involved if they'd like? Well, anybody can come to the park, where you can join the association if you like. It's only $10 for the year, and you get a number of Great. benefits from that, including a giant newsletter which gives you all sorts of information about the park from various perspectives, literary, poetic, scientific, photographic. It tells you lots of information about the park. Great. The Sleeping Giant Park Association. You get a chance to participate in our mas the giant master's program, which gives you a really beautiful certificate for having hiked all 32 miles of trails here in the park. <laughs> some people do that as a lifetime endeavor. Some people do it seasonally. Some people do it annually. Some people do it monthly, and if you're really young and have good knees, you can do it in a single day. Uh, another reason to join the Park Association, though, is just to help contribute to our efforts to maintain the park. Uh, mm -hmm. Because the park is maintained entirely by volunteer efforts. So Great. People who come and work, and of course, we always like volunteers. People help with the trails crew, help with the hiking committee, help with the environmental stewardship committee, which helps remove invasive plant and animal species which are crowding out habitat for native species. So if you're interested in getting involved, uh, please contact us. You can reach us through our website at sgpa.org. Well, how I fell upon this place here is uh, I looked at Connecticut Trails Day and I came up here to do the hike on the Blue Trail. Tell them about the Blue Trail I just hiked. Well, the Blue, the Blue Trail is one of the two hardest trails in the park, the Blue Trail and the White Trail. Uh, so you started with uh, quite a challenging hike. But it's also one of the most beautiful hikes in the park. You get to see a range of beautiful features, and portions of it you can see, especially on a day like 